LAS application software to convert text to an LAS format. We begin by opening the LAS application software and selecting the input files. Click on select and we're going to pick example data which comes with the software which is located under C LAS examples. Text LAS, we'll pick this one here, we'll, we'll select all of them and we'll click on the continue button at the bottom of the form. Under more tools we'll find the convert text to LAS files. There we go. There's a trick to this and if we look at the view example file you'll notice that the input files must start with a, the, the first line on the exam, on the input files must start with start depth stop depth and the sample rate the next line needs to be the mnemonics for depth and the curve mnemonics and the third line needs to be the units and then after that we end up with the, with the uh, column columnar data and that's what the software expects to get so we'll continue on. We need to specify what the null values are. If the first three lines are in a slightly different order, we can fix that here. And the software will use the file name and put that into the well name line, the UWI line, and the API line, unless we have more information and we may be able to borrow header information from another LAS file. We do that by going to the Browse button, and let me see, go to LAS Apps, Example Data, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, use the header information from this file here to put on top of all our text LAS files. And we can apply that either to all of the remaining input files or to just the first one whichever you wish. I'm going to apply it to all of them. There's some other stuff in here. The output data can be in either to five decimal places or ten. And uh, if, if you're dealing with Canadian files, we can actually extract the 16 character UWI from the file name and put that in the right spot. Click on continue and off we go. I'm done. We'll have a look at the events log just to see what happened. Converted text to LAS. It shows you that a number of things were done before it actually does so. It carries on. And it's, oh, eventually it's finished. Close the form. At this point, we can save the results. We we'll go save. We can put it in the directory of your choice. I'm going to put it under Workbench. I'm going to make a new folder for that. It's going to be called folder number 9 and we'll do it. click OK and we're done. Now, thank you for watching.